CRMs are an essential tool for any business, but especially realtors. CRM obviously is customer relationship management. It takes care of all your clients, all your database, and works in the background on your behalf. The problem is that they can be super complicated and some of them are just pernickety and don't work as well as you want to. Now, inside of my brokerage, we have a phenomenal CRM called KV Core, but sometimes it just does a little bit too much, honestly. Do we need all the drip campaigns? You know, Do we need all the searches? Do we need all the different crazy stuff that it does? Sometimes I just want to track where my clients are at. Super, super simple. So today, we're going to build out a Trello board that you can download after you watch this video and use it for your clients too. What's up guys, Lou here again. We're going to jump into the computer today and I'm going to show you how I use Trello for my CRM. I use it conjunction with KV Core, but I'm going to show you how I do that and how this could simplify your experience with dealing with your clients. So let's dive in. All right, guys, so this is the board and I'm going to take you through two scenarios, a seller and a buyer. And I'm going to show you how this works and how it's very, very simple to just keep your clients in here all the way from like a preview appointment all the way to closing and what to do with them in your past clients. Now, like I said, I have instructions in here that sync this up a little bit with KV Core. You can change this to your CRM that you have with your brokerage or whatever works. But this is just going to simplify everything and show you the steps to take for each path in the client's journey. So let's look over here. Um, it's color coded. So if you see red at any time, it means sellers. If you see green at any time, it means buyers. And if you see blue, it means they're doing both. It's a buy, sell, our favorite clients. <laughs> so a seller here, when we're starting off things, um, you know, we always do a preview appointment and that typically comes before the listing presentation. A lot of people use these if you're a cold caller, like if you do Fizbo's and stuff like that, this could be something that you want to preview the, the, the home and then try and get the listing appointment afterwards. So if that's you, if you're in that realm, this is a really good start for you. So what we would do, each of these things has instructions. But we're saying, okay, I've got a preview appointment with John Smith. I'm gonna add their card in here, okay? John Smith, I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna label them over here, labels. I'm gonna go label seller. Boom, that's it for now. That's all you have to do right now is that. Now, if you talk to them on the phone, you can obviously add notes in here. The more notes we have, the better. If you have it in the CRM, you can copy and paste it over here. But hey, talked to John and he is excited about meeting tomorrow. Okay, or whatever. You can talk about his kids or his dogs or whatever you need to know in there. All the descriptions and comments you leave are gonna be saved automatically inside of his little file. Okay, cool. So what do I need to do before the appointment? I need to know. So I'm gonna click on here and this is gonna tell me exactly what I do specifically for me when I would do these appointments. So for a Fizbo, I would make sure I send them a calendar invitation because if you don't send them a calendar invitation and they don't accept, you never know if they're gonna be there. I don't wanna waste my time, so I'm gonna send them a calendar invitation. From there, I'm gonna email them my resume. A lot of realtors don't have resumes. I got this from Brandon Mulrennan. Uh, his resume game is phenomenal. So I'll do a video about that one day. But a resume basically tells them who you are, what you're doing, so they know who's coming to the house. Ryan Serhan does it with a box, you know, a gift box. So whatever way you're gonna do it, send them something beforehand so they know who you are and they can see your credibility. Next, I'm gonna send them a video text the day of. So that morning, I'm gonna send them a video text. I'm gonna pull out my phone. I'm gonna say, hey, John, how's it going? Really looking forward to meeting you today at 11 o'clock at your house. Can't wait to meet you. See you soon. That's it, super simple. We just want to you know, remind them that we're coming, maybe get a response from them and go from there, okay? It just kind of sets the tone that you're professional, you're already following up at a great extent and you're all set. Okay, next one. Add uh, to MLS seller email. Now, you can do this on this step or you could not do it on this step. Um, typically what I do is I'll get on the MLS and I'll look at their you know, subdivision that they live in and I'll pull up a search for that and send it to them just so they know what's going on in the area. Any active, any under contract uh, or any sold just so they have a snapshot of what's going on. Okay, I've already done this little bit of work for them. It takes two minutes. It's not a big deal. Get it done. Okay, uh, I'm gonna add them on social media. 
That's a scary one because it's kind of weird and upfront, but it works. It depends on the person, honestly, for me. I'd send them a handwritten thank you card. Now, if it's like the next day, I don't typically do that. But if it's like, hey, come and meet me next week on Thursday, I'll send them a handwritten card like, hey, looking forward to meeting you. You know, all that good stuff. So that's the preview appointment. Again, you can add in your own checklist. You can just add items here or whatever you want to do. This is just going to keep your processes in place for the appointments. If you want, you can also hit this checklist and you can copy it from all these different ones. All right. So let's close that just now. And then before the appointment, what to bring? This is just a reminder for me what to bring. I'm going to bring a market snapshot. And I'm going to bring a CMA with an emphasis on days on market. Okay. All right, at the home, when we get there, this is actually my instructions just to review before I go in there. Again, this is the preview appointment. We're trying to set an appointment for a listing appointment, a lot of appointments. But the home tour, here's what I'm gonna be doing. We're not gonna go over this to an extent. You can look at this on the actual thing. Uh, a transition script to go from the home tour into like showing them the CMA presentation. And if the seller's open to working with you, where to go from there. Make sure you bring um, uh, on the home tour, make sure you bring the Zillow ad market snapshot, the days on market presentation, a value proposition, and make sure you plant the seed. Some of these things you might not have. We do it with our agents and our team. So if you have interest in this thing, reach out. Maybe we can have a conversation about um, partnering together. Okay. So that's great. Preview appointment. Okay. And I went to the appointment and I got the listing presentation appointment. Okay. So we're good to go. We're good to go back for a listing presentation. If you got a listing presentation straight away, just skip that step. Now, look at that. I just switch cards. Okay. So I take John and I'm moving them on to the next step. Okay. I'm at the listing presentation now. What do I need to bring? So here's a couple of things and you can link your Google drive to Trello. Super, super easy. You just go over here to the settings and link up your Google drive or you can just copy and paste the link for your Google document right there. So I always recommend keeping things in Google Drive. So my resume, and my listing presentation are there. So just copy that link, paste it in here, just so you have it ready to go. You don't have to look it up on Google Drive, okay? So I have my resume, I have my listing presentation. Click, click, I've got them printed out. They're uh, good to go. I've got an up-to-date CMA. I've got a net sheet for them and I have intake forms, if that's what you do. If you're digital with your intake forms and, and um, agreements and stuff, then just make sure you have it all dialed in and entered into your system so you can send it off to them right there and have them, send it on, uh, have them sign it on the spot. Okay, so that's what we've done. We've got the listing presentation and we have crushed it. Here is a couple other things we're gonna move through like this. This is another um, checklist right here. Now, this one in particular is exactly what you're going to do in terms of entering in, into a CRM. So if you have a CRM, I use KV Core uh, with EXP. It's a phenomenal CRM, but this just reminds me what to do with them. OK, so this is just reminding you that um, you want to add them onto these checklists and the labels. You can just read through this and follow along step by step. And then from here, if it's a buyer appointment, I'm going to go into KV Core, add them, immediately send them a confirmation email, uh, create a, a folder for them and do all this. You can read through this. I'm not going to bore you to death. You can download this and check out all the instructions yourself. If it's a listing presentation, here's the instructions that I'm going to be doing here. If I set an appointment and they didn't show, here's what I'm going to do inside of KV Core. And if they didn't sign an agreement with me, this is what I'm going to do is drip cam campaigns that are built into my KV core. All right, so uh, that basically tells you exactly what to do. So there's no guessing, right? That's the thing about this. We're systems and processes are all about building out things so you're not stressing, so you're not second guessing yourself like, oh, did I do this? Did I do that? Just go through this checklist and you'll know for sure. Okay, let's, um, let's skip them on here a little bit. I'm going to stay on this uh, seller path right now. So we've got the listing agreement. That's good to go. We are officially John's agent. So I'm going to take him over to right here, the pre list checklist. And you can now see that like, OK, cool. I'm bringing people along. If I look at this and I have a bunch of different clients, I know where they all are in the process right now. I know who I've got appointments with. I know who are coming up to listing and I know who are going through all these other things. So we're going to look at the pre list instructions here. 
I want to make sure that I go into my uh, KV Core and set them up on different things. I want to make sure if I have them on any drip campaigns that I uh, cancel them because I don't want them getting bombarded with emails like, oh, hey, ever thought about selling where he's already under contract with you? And um, make sure that you are uh, following all the, the tasks in here, okay? So that's just a pre-list you can put on, you know, here what the dates are going to be. So maybe he's going to be listing on the 21st and we're just going to save that right there. Well, that's cool because his the date will show up on when they're going to list and when it's going to go live. If you have other things that you have deadlines for, you can add in dates um, for different things. So it might be like photographs, might be, you know, I have a photographer um you know on the seventh you know or whatever that might look like so you can um do that and make sure you have all the information inside of there all right so now um pre-list and now we're going to go live on the market so i'm going to move him on dope my house is live on the mls i am good to go i'm going to get rolling here are some instructions and this is more setting you up for success again. One of the things that we love to do with our clients is make sure we set them up at the start with the right communication. So we say, hey, this is what we're gonna do with communication. It's not gonna be random. It's not gonna be text here and there if anything happens. And it's never gonna be you texting me to get answers, okay? Because then I've already lost all the trust. So I set them up, I say, hey, listen, I send my sellers an update every Tuesday, okay? And it's gonna include the numbers of showing and any feedback, a recap of what we're doing to market the home properly, you know, a market update to get reductions if needed, and of course, be upfront with them. Why every Tuesday? And it will tell you exactly why here's a sample email that you can send so you can copy paste this into your email and change some of the numbers around super super simple that's going to be every single week on tuesday you can do it whatever day you want i like tuesday because obviously the weekend has come monday's come we haven't had any offers so tuesday i'm going to update him before he has any questions okie dokie well the best scenario happened we got an offer we accepted it and now we're under contract so let's move john over here on our journey under contract let's look at the instructions super simple this is just telling us to enter him into kv core our, our crm is pending stop drip campaign stop everything we're in a contract so we're all set we're good to go now you might want to make a checklist here of exactly what you do while under contract you know so it might be you know um, update him with all you know relevant dates um you know clarify the under contract um, you know, process that we go through, whatever it is, just make sure that whatever you typically do with your sellers, you would just make a checklist here and you can do that by clicking checklist and then you would name this, you know, seller checklist and then you would add it right there and you can add in um, all your different things. Again, building processes, why do we do this? Because if you do something, you know, multiple times, just build something out once that works and then every time it becomes super, super easy. If you're having to start from scratch with every seller you get, this becomes super tedious. So this is why we build systems and this is why we have processes. All right, cool, cool. Well, we've closed the deal. John Smith is now a successful seller. He has closed and here's instructions right here. Go in there, change them to a past client, make sure I put them on a reminder to call him every 90 days. We have a past client routine, call him seven days after closing, call him um, two weeks after closing, call him one month after closing, and then every 90 days from there. You're always gonna stay top of mind, checking in with him. And that's it for sellers. So let's go ahead and we'll take John. So say he was selling first and then buying. So let's take him over to the buyers appointment again this is the new lead appointment so it's the same checklist for this but let's go in and just change him to a buyer because he's not a seller anymore okie dokie so buyer clients active so these are clients that are out and about trying to check out homes we're going to click here look at the instructions again a lot of crm stuff add them in you know you could do this on your mls here's what to add on the mls for different drips and and save searches and stuff like that we text our buyers on Monday and Thursday to get them out and about. And this is just sample text that you can send to them. So uh, you can use this as um, you know a template if they're not on your calendar for going to showing. If they are you know serious about looking at homes, but they haven't found anything over the weekend, you know, but they're not quite on your calendar yet for next weekend or through the week, we make sure we text them on Monday and Thursday to get them on the calendar, get them out looking again. Okay right like that now um, same deal 
if they go on the contract, they find a home, we just move them over under contract. And once they close, we go to close and we just follow the instructions in here. So you can see that this is just a simple path that we take them through. They just follow through the process. And what this does is it means that they're not caught up with the other thousands of people inside your CRM and getting lost. I can actually use my Trello board for, I, I only put pretty serious clients on here that I know are going or that I know my appointment is looking really good. I'll put them on there and just drive it out like that. So <clears throat> this is what I use specifically myself for my business. You can see right here if I go to, so you can see I've got a bunch of people in here for new appointments I've got set up. These are uh, active buyers here. I don't have any active listings right now. I've got two under contract and these are closings that I've had in the last couple months here. So you can see how this works out where really I know exactly where people are going. I know where to move them to and it's awesome. So this really, really helps with understanding the comparisons between a CRM, which can be a little too much, and just a simple system like this that keeps you on track. If you want to use them both in conjunction, then obviously the checklists are all there. They're good to go and it's great. So you will find a link for this template right here. And when you see this and click on the link um, below, It'll, there'll be a blue box up the top here and you're just going to click on the blue box to add it to your board and go from there. Trello is absolutely free and I feel like every realtor should be utilizing it. OK, so you can see it right there. But if I go into, you know, a, a different one here, you can go here, create board from template and it'll pull it over and go from there. All right. So that is Trello, the CRM. I love it. It makes everything a lot cleaner, a lot faster, a lot smoother. And you can go into here without seeing all the mess and thousands of contacts inside your actual CRM. Download that, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. If you like this kind of stuff, I'm always putting videos out about systems, processes and time management because it's my jam. I love it. And I'm trying to help realtors scale and scale their business using these techniques. So subscribe if you haven't done already. I would love to see you again and we'll see you on the next one.